Bryony, first, congratulations on the role. But uh, firstly, you actually worked in this building with Trent back in 2010 as a community manager. Uh, what are your biggest memories of back then? I was at the research for about three years, which I loved. Um, I was here as a community relations manager. So getting involved in hospitals, taking the place for those community visits, getting them out in schools, trying to make them look good, all that sort of thing. So. My memories here are great and I really loved it. A few comparisons with you and Bryony. She's a mother of four, you're a father of three. What's your first piece of advice for her? Bryony's sort of just starting out at obviously the Swifts at that level. She's handled it for a long time, you know, the work-life balance. Bryony with four kids, uh, I think her temperament's uh, pretty good for handling the four kids. Um, but um, I mean, she'd know that balance pretty well. We have spoken about it briefly, but not in terms of balancing that, you know, training versus coming home to your family. And so I'm sure I will ask loads of questions around that. Now, what advice do you think that you could be perhaps offering Trent moving forward? So I'd love to sort of get him out there and have a look at what we do in the gym and maybe get him out in a court and test his skills. So that would be fun. OK, I've got to ask you, if Trent did, in fact, play a bit of mixed netball, what position do you think he'd be best at? I reckon definitely a defender. I think he's probably got the physique to be a defender. And um, yeah, it'd be great to see him out there running around with the girls. Now, earlier, Bryony and I were talking and I did ask her, I said, come on, tell us, what position would Trent be playing if he was a netball player? And uh, what do you think the position was? <laughs> uh, she wouldn't have said goal attack, I can imagine. No? No. She, 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 she thought you'd be a really good goal, goal defender. Goal defender, right. Yeah. Okay. You've come into this position with the Swifts only winning three games last season. Trent himself also came into a similar position. What advice are you most after? As soon as I got my head coaching role at the Swifts, I sort of immediately thought of Trent and knew, knew he's been through ups and downs and knowing that he's come out the other end and formed this really great club and culture here. So, and that's exactly what I'm looking for when I, you know, take over the Swifts in, in our game time next year in April. The, the so. advice I've given Brian is, you know, you've, you've, you've got to coach your style. I think she's, she's got her style and her unique style and you've got to make sure that, that the, the job doesn't mould you completely. Make sure that you, you're moulding yourself to the job. Being a part of two very different clubs in terms of rugby league and netball. There's also similarities in terms of we both handle a ball. What does the skill set look like? How, how many hours are you in the gym? Do you use a sports psych? All those sort of things are definitely similar.